Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and this is my new Pylea. It's a Pylea peperomioides, I believe is the way that you pronounce it. Um, we just call it the Pylea. It's also known as a Chinese money plant um, and has a few other cute nicknames. Um, the thing with these guys is while they do, they are succulent as far as the leaves go, they're not terribly succulent. But you do have to be careful about um, overwatering them, and you want them in a nice, fast-draining dirt, preferably in a unglazed pot, clay drainage hole at the bottom. And um, <laughs> gonna kind of be looking for signs of the leaves drooping before you water them, and keep them out of direct sun, but do give them bright light, and they're gonna be really happy. If you look down in there, just get a close up. See. There's a bunch of little babies down in there. And once those get a little bit bigger, they can be propagated. And I was lucky enough to find this plant. It has a really nice. Sorry, the light is a bit bright right now. Let's get down in there. So if you can see how big that stem is down there, and it looks like there's you know multiple plants coming out of the main stem. Hey, get out of the way. <laughs> um, so I won't be watering this for a while. I need to wait for these leaves to start drooping a little bit more. And then we'll water them. And I want to go ahead and do like a nice overhead water because their leaves are kind of dusty and we've got a lot of pollen in the air. And so there's um, a little bit of yellow dust on them. But um, when it's time to water, we're going to just give them a nice drink till the water runs out the bottom and wait until the soil is uh, pretty dry. Um, at least the top two inches are dry and you can even wait a little bit longer before you water them again. Um, they don't need to have consistently moist soil. Um, now depending on where you're located, again my, my city, Houston, is really humid and that of course helps keep plants hydrated longer. But if you're somewhere where it's dry, of course you might need to water a bit more frequently. But you do want to make sure that your dirt is drying out before you water. And then it's drying out within a week, as with most succulents, if not sooner. And then you're going to want to wait to see them actually show you that they want water. Now they'll start drooping down a little bit more, like maybe this one, but they'll actually start sagging a little more. And um, you can touch them and feel them from time to time. So you can kind of get an idea of what it feels like when your plant is hydrated. These all look nice and perky. Um, I got it last weekend and I waited a few days to repot it. It was, the soil was moist when I got it. So I've waited a few days to repot it to give it some time to get used to its new growing location in my house. And then a few days after getting it, I repotted it and I still haven't watered it yet because the dirt that it was in was still moist and there was a lot of it there. So while the original potting soil was very organic, I potted it into, I left that intact along the roots and just put the whole thing down into this fast draining soil. So I really love this plant. I think it's gonna be pretty happy here and we'll figure out different ways to propagate it down the road but for now we're just gonna let it be let it grow let it get used to being in its new home and if you see one of these available I suggest you get it because they're very cute very popular <laughs> And it's just a fun little plant to have. Look at all that personality. Come get it. So it's been over a week, eight days to be precise, and I guess it's starting to droop a little bit. The leaves feel a little bit softer, but to be honest, it could probably go a few more days without needing to be watered. But I don't want to stress it out too much. It is starting to warm up and I have it outside. So let's go ahead and give it a drink. Should we go? 
good. You should start seeing coming out of the bottom of the pot, the drainage holes. Again, it, it, they are in um, fast draining dirt. Got pumice and turfus and expanded shale mixed in with topsoil. That's what I use for most of my succulents. And, um, you know, a little organic, extra organic material is fine. Give it a good sip. And I am guessing I won't need to water these for at least two more weeks. So you see there's some standing water down in there. It's all run through. We don't want that to be sitting in the saucer and the plant soaking it up unnecessarily. I think it's had a nice drink, so we're going to dump that water out and give it to another plant. This is a Dremiopsis kirki, kirkai, kirkii, kirkai. I'm going to give it, it's also just a giant squirrel. There we go. Alright, and that's it. And even though the leaves are a little wet, I'm not worried about them because the sun isn't going to be directly on them until the morning again um, and just for a little while as we're facing these are facing east and that's it I really love this little guy so far so good um, we'll try and propagate it down the road but I wanted to give it at least a month in its new home to get used to you know life in Porchlandria look at those down there oh my gosh you're so cute And I think it's pretty obvious why these are becoming so popular, and you should be able to find one um, at a nursery near you if you haven't already. And this was about 10 bucks, so don't pay too much. Just wait for the prices to go down, or maybe uh, share a pot with your friends. But again, I potted this up, and I waited a long time to water it, not only because it didn't need it right away, but because we don't want to you know, that, that transplant and then watering can kind of shock a plant. So give us some time to get used to its new environment. Give us some time to get used to its new pot. And then give us some water. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>